Sit down the bottom there. See, we're not, we're not, we're not, because down the bottom there's a gap. Oh, okay. So we don't want to bend the, so just back off that because we don't want to bend the adapter plate. Whereabouts? Oh, that's fine. Actually, I was just going to just shove them around. But, um, that's fine. Go for it. Yeah, alright, thanks, mate. Um, and action. Okay. <laughs> Clear, moving. Alright, thanks. Um, we're just, okay, you let it come. We're just um, stuck them around, trying to sort out. And where we're going to place all the components. So this is the old engine management module for the petrol motor. It controls the fuel injection, the engine, the petrol motor speed, the pollution control, um, probably a few other functions which we don't know about and we don't care. Junk. <laughs> replace the heater from the car with an electric heater. The original heater ran off the cooling system um, and to control the electric heater we need a relay. Now this relay and the heater run off the main, main battery packs voltage so it needs to be a fairly sizable relay also to handle the current. Okay well off the main voltage um, the positive and negative leads go through a uh, fuse each, so if there's any problem, the power will be isolated at this point, which is outside of the cabin. Um, and the, volt, the power is then switched through the relay contacts and then out to the heater. Um, we have a, a diode here and some capacitors and resistors in here to reduce arcing in the, in the relay itself. And then there's a 12 volt trigger side which is controlled by a switch inside the cabin and um, also a, a thermostat overheating and that controls the primary side of the, the coil for the, um, for the relay. No, that's, it's all connected. It was, it was oh. never disconnected, but oh, there's, right. no yeah, booster. Booster. Yeah. there's no vacuum booster. There's no vacuum booster. 